Hello and welcome. My name is Vic Marie, and I'm going to be taking you through a 10 minute flow to press pause, to regroup, and connect with the body, mind, and soul. When you are ready, we're going to begin to come into a reclined position onto our backs. I'm just keeping the knees bent to begin with. Just beginning to have the soles of the feet in contact with the earth, hands coming to the belly. I'm taking a few rounds of breath here as we begin to arrive. And then we're going to begin to take our feet as wide as your mat if you have one. We're going to take a gentle twist, letting the knees gravitate over towards the right. Gaze can see up towards the sky. You might begin to take the gaze over that left shoulder. If you want to take a little bit further, you might begin to take that right foot onto the outside of that left knee or thigh, letting the right knee drop down. Just letting that legs go heavy. Slowly beginning to invite the soles of the feet back to the earth, gaze to the sky. I'm going to take this on the other side, so letting the knees gravitate towards the left. Maybe taking that left foot onto the right knee and letting the knees go heavy. Bring the gaze and the soles of the feet back to the earth. We're going to toe heel the feet back to hip width apart. We're going to take a figure of four. So if I can take that right ankle or the pinky edge of that right foot to the left thigh. And we can stay here, maybe walking the foot a little bit closer to the sit bone. And then we're going to begin to come into a pretzel, inviting that leg bundle in towards the chest, hands on the thigh or maybe the shin. You might add a little gentle sway or a little circle. And gently beginning to release that left foot down to the earth. Now we're going to take a figure of four twist. So you're going to slowly begin to invite that right foot over to the earth, over towards the left. That left foot might slide a little bit. Again, gazing up or taking the gaze over that right shoulder. And slowly coming back to center. Okay, we're going to take a full body stretch if you've got space, taking the arms overhead, pointing the toes away. And then we'll slowly come back with the knees bent, hands on the belly. And we're going to take that figure four on the other side. So just beginning to invite that left ankle, maybe taking that right foot a little bit closer. Staying here, beginning to invite that leg in towards the chest. Again, framing or interlacing the hands behind the thigh, or maybe the hands over the shin. Adding a gentle sway or rock. I'm beginning to release that right foot down to our figure of four. We can stay here. We're beginning to let that left foot go over towards the right, feeling the belly move underneath the palms. And again, gazing over that left shoulder if you like. Beginning to inhale, inviting that leg back up to figure of four. And then taking that full body stretch, taking as much room that you may or may not have. And 
And as you exhale, we're going to invite that left knee in towards the chest. Here we're going to take a twist. So you can stay here, right hand onto that left knee, T-shaping out that left arm. Then you're going to take that left knee across the body, allowing that right leg to come onto the pinky edge of the foot if that's accessible. And gently beginning to come back to center, squeezing the knee in towards the armpit. And then beginning to open up that left knee, right hand coming to the hip. You can stay here. If it's in your practice, you could take your big, sorry, your peace fingers to the big toe and beginning to extend the left leg. Beginning to bend the left knee if we've straightened, bringing it back in. Full body stretch. And exhaling, beginning to bring that right knee in towards the chest. And we're going to begin to take our twist. So T-shaping out that right arm, taking that knee across the body. Beginning to bring the knee in towards the chest and then the armpit. And then again, your choice, opening up the knee or peace fingers to the big toe and beginning to straighten. If you have room, <laughs> I'm going to keep my knee bent. Bending the knee, bringing it back in towards the chest. I'm going to begin to bring both knees in. So bending that left knee, let's begin to massage out the lower back. I'm beginning to bring the knees in towards the chest. And we're going to take a reclined butterfly. So you're going to begin to take the knees apart, soles of the feet together. This might be enough for some of us. We might take the hands to the shins or maybe bring the soles of the feet together. Keeping the chin in towards the chest, long neck. And slowly beginning to bring the knees back together, knees in towards the chest. And slowly beginning to release the soles of the feet to the earth. We'll come into reclined butterfly, releasing the knees in opposite directions, hands to the belly. And we can stay here. You might T shape out the arms or maybe cactus. Taking three rounds of breath here. We're going to take the hands underneath the thighs, soles of the feet to the earth. And then we'll begin to toe heel the feet as wide as your mat, knocking the knees together just as for a moment or two. And then beginning to toe heel the knees back to hip width apart. We're going to come up to a seated position, so beginning to come onto a side that you favor. And then with a helping hand, coming up to your seated position. I'm beginning to take the hands together at the heart space and bowing the head to the hands in gratitude for taking this moment to press pause 
And just time to reconnect with the body, mind, and soul. Thank you for sharing this brief practice with me. And may you have an amazing day. I'll see you again soon.